Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel, man. Appreciate y'all guys uh, dialing in, loaning me a little bit of your time. Uh, today I got a video uh, of swapping, you know, my tires out. You know, I'm going from a 23, which you see here, and it's for sale. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, I didn't have my bike raked, so, you know, this big 23 was just too much. It made my bike stand up too much, you know. Uh, kickstand had to have something falling around with me to keep me you know to keep the bike upright uh, when I parked it but anyway I went to a uh, enforcer uh, 20 17 enforcer rim which is a 19 inch rim man and uh, this is an old bike okay uh, SNS motor uh, 110 uh, you know and uh, I wanted to go back stock on you know and get that stock look again because I seen a lot of super stock bikes man that was super clean okay I wanted to be part of that ah you know the custom world you know it's good you know what I mean but I wasn't gonna win no trophies so all right now it's the modifications that you have to do to mount this wheel onto your old frame now this is an Evo frame you know 97 yeah yeah it's a 97 of course it doesn't look at you know I got the scratch bags uh, you know uh, the uh, big motor the R1 uh, ignition system uh, the Makuni carburetor uh, you know the new clutch package uh, I got all that done uh, the screaming eagle heads but I wanted this stock look and the fender I had to DJ I had to order hey bring, bring it up okay I'm back uh yeah my son man but there's some modifications that you have to do to get this 2017 rim to fit on this frame okay uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, that it can be done uh, don't get discouraged it takes a little time a little patience but you know when it's all said and done you'll probably like the upgrade okay what I had to do first is uh, you know of course I had to put my bearings in it because it comes with this rim comes with a, a, a huge axle, you know, it comes with a huge axle and uh, of course that's 95 frame, uh, you know, had a small axle in it. So, so I had to change the uh, axle and the bearings, okay, it came, there was the inside of it, like that, these was the bearings, but one thing I did notice, my bearings is a lot thicker than those bearings, okay. So, I put the rim on first, get everything lined up, it's going to come down to this caliber, okay? That's where your biggest problem is going to come in at. Once you get the rim in and you get it straight, over here on this side here with the smaller uh, uh, bushing, what I could do is I can get a, 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 a longer bushing uh, to go out here, maybe uh, another, maybe another couple of sixteenths if I want it to go that route okay and I may still do that to keep it from hitting here but it doesn't once you get it locked in here come up right here guys that's your pinch clamp your pinch nut knock that in put you something right here in, the, in between that right there like a small screwdriver is what I use right here put that right in between there like that snug that down snug this down that keeps that off that's good it ain't going nowhere uh and over here to the caliber okay Watch this side. Just hold it right there. i'm gonna get my, my man steve to hold the camera for you guys all right what i had to do to modify this thing you see right here you see that right here you have to grind this down okay because this will hit this part of the rim because they got this big old intrusion sticking out of it. So you have to file that down. So I use the grinder. Come to the grinder, Steve. I use my wheel grinder right here to grind that down. Didn't take too long to do it. Uh, and once you grind it down, you know, you get it ground down. You have to, you know, you got to take your time, guys, because you got to pull it off several different times uh, and then get your measurements all over again.
for the top one. It go right in there, man. See, it went in there super smooth. And the bottom one, just getting them started for you guys. It went right in there too. Okay? And it's going to be close at first until you pull everything up. Once you pull everything up, we're going to recheck it again. Let's go ahead and screw this caliber up some. Okay. Okay. I went on and snug it up. Snug it up here. Snug it up there. And you can take a look right down here where it was hitting at. Because it was hitting there. Okay. Get right in here. See that there? Man, that's close. You see that? Wow. That is super, super close, guys. But look. It ain't going anywhere, and it ain't going to hit. Just like it is there. The wheel rolls good. The brakes are in line. And that's how you would modify putting a uh, enforcer wheel on an old Evo frame. 97 frame to a 2017 front wheel. Okay, I wanted that smoothness, man, uh, going down the road. So I think I got it. All right, man. You feel this video was helpful? Give me some of them. Share this video next time.